this video, we're going to be breaking down the Green Bay Packers offense. If you guys want to check out that full offense, it's going to be in our school community. And I think I'm going to be in 6-1 on defense. I really have been enjoying running 6-1. It's something a little different. If you guys want to check out my full breakdown on that defense, it's going to be in our school community. Actually, just brand new, uh, dropping a 6-1, uh, actually a whole ebook on the Jets that covers everything in the Jets defensive playbook. So if you do want to check that out, it's going to be all that stuff's going to be in the school community. Ten bucks gets you access to everything over there. All of our full ebooks, all of our exclusive tips and things like that. So make sure that you're in the school community. Actually, well, I'm not in Jets. I'm actually in uh, Raiders playbook, but we are going to be in six one. Six ones in both, and uh, I think six one six one is really good right now. Uh, it's really 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 good. So we're going to see if we can. See if we can use it to get some stops here. And perfect. My opponent is coming out in Wildcat. So what can go wrong? Let's see if I can find Micah Parsons. Going to try to test out the run defense early, I guess. All right. So where's the... Okay. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. That's fine. Yeah, 6-1 basically just stops the run. Like, just because. Just because it's that good. Just because it's that good of a defense. That's why I like 6-1 a little bit is a um, couple reasons. Number one, it's really good for double Mabel uh, coverage. Other reason is the sheds are really, really good. You can get a kind of a really, really, really good uh, little – not only you get sheds, but you can get like a four-man disengage. It's pretty crazy. That's exactly my game plan defensively, just let them drop the ball. It looks like I'm playing Ask Madden. We can just come out and random plays and do whatever we want to do, I guess. So anyway, I'm, I'm rocking six one. I actually really like it. I think it's I think it's one of those defense where it's like they have to work. Um, the the pressed thirty yard soft squats are really really good in this game. They guard a lot of things. That's another reason why I really like six one right now. Um, I was gonna do it a dollar, but I just think it's better out of six one because you have here. I'm gonna have to kind of. I think I need to. Yeah, that. See how it kind of play, like plays everything really good. You get a lot of fumbles when you run 6-1. That's another reason to run it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, uh, okay, so let's get into this. I am in the Packers playbook. In the Packers playbook, I want to kind of continue the discussion from yesterday talking about switch stick and kind of what's going on offensively right now with switch stick and the combos. The biggest thing that I can say with switch stick is I feel like it just forces you to have more disciplined passing which is probably honestly good. Looks like he's going to be in 3-4 odds, so I'm anticipating him blitzing this linebacker on the left side. If he does, I'm just going to throw the ball to the running back. But he's going to go use of that, so I just throw this backside drag. So he's in 3-4 odds. He's going to be sending the goons at me. I think I have my audible set. Perfect. So I'm going to have to kind of pay attention to that, 3-4 odd. One of the best uh, counters to 3-4 odd is actually 5 wide. Um and he's already out of that defense, and now he's in 3-3 cup. So there you go. Let me just ID this corner, see if this picks us up. Now I'll throw a pick. Oh, man. As I <laughs> – let's take a look at that. Let's see what I had open. It's always good to take a look at what you had open. Let's look at all my missed reads. I bet you the tight end was probably wide open. Let's see. Flat, tight end. Eh, That's just good defense. All right, cool. Back to 6 1. All right. That's got to be an interception, man. That's got to be an interception. I'm telling you what, this year's game is all about patience. It's patience on both sides of the ball. Being patient defensively, being patient offensively, I think is a huge, a huge component. And look at that thirty. See, that's why I like those thirty yard cloud, thirty yard, not even thirty yard clouds anymore. Thirty yard soft squats. They do a really, really good job against this. All right, here situationally, let's see if we can get some pressure. That was my responsibility. Looks like he's going to kind of settle into a doubles look, I think. 
kind of annoyed at myself for throwing that pick. All right, he ran the ball last time. I was hoping I could lurk that. Uh, I was hoping I could lurk that. I gave up a touchdown. I knew that was coming, too. I knew that bubble screen was coming. It's just bad defense on my part. I kind of put too much on my user. Well, Lucky Charms YT is off to a really good start against us. I'm trying to think what I'm going to do offensively to, to counter his... See if he stays in Cub. If he stays in Cub, it's not too hard to beat Cub. Cub is kind of one of those defenses where it's like it's it's really I think best if you're running man out of it. But if you're running zone, it's kind of a. I don't know. I think there's a lot of holes in it. There's not a great blitz out of Cub. It's an okay blitz. So let's see if he kind of stays with the. Checo. Yeah, I think this game is a lot about being patient on both sides of the ball. One of the combos that I'm really liking right now. Now he's going to go. This guy's been in three different defenses on three different snaps. So that's kind of interesting way to do it. Let's go RPO. But what I actually think um, is going to be good in this game is more spread. I don't know how to word it. Like more full field passing. Let's just see if this works. Can I throw this? My ag catch it. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, he's running a really weird defense. He's just gonna kinda do whatever, I guess. Okay, so his trips check is it's not really a great chip chips uh trips check, my guy. Let's see if he does that again. That should be a touchdown. Mm hmm. Yeah, run your cover six. Cover six is really good until it's not. I'm in Ross St. Brown just putting the team on his back, breaking tackles, doing what he does. So, cover six, a little match beater if you guys are paying attention. If you go to trips, and especially if it's wide side, if you're playing someone and they're running cover six on you. You just go to trips, and then you want to streak your uh, slot receiver and basically out of PA slot corner, and, and it's really difficult for cover six to cover that. I don't know exactly why, but that's literally been a match beater out of against cover six or cover four palms for a long time, a couple years at least. Uh, that's been a, a simple way to beat match consistently. We need to play a lot better defense than we played on the last drive. NFC Championship game, high stakes game in the USAA Stadium. Yeah, defensively, it's kind of the first Madden that I've seen where it's less about adjustments and more just about the user, like it, the switch stick, the user, right? So that's kind of, I just, I think just completely has changed has changed things for us. Let's take that away. See, I don't think that should be a catch. I just don't think that, I don't think there's any world where that should be a catch. <laughs> Gosh, what a read. What a read by my man Lucky Charms. Oh, crap, jet sweep. Oh, I got to get out of there. And that's why you run 6-1. They just, 6-1 is just, you just have to actually, like the thing about 6-1 that I like is you have to actually pass <laughs> to be able to beat it. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Thank you. We caught our, we caught our pick this time. You see, just throwing random stuff like that, like eventually you're just going to throw a pick. That's why I say, like, I'm starting to become a huge believer in patience. <laughs> Patience on defense. I'm kind of messing around with some new plays out of this Packers book. I stayed in Bunch Strong, but I'm actually going to get into some other stuff here. I think we're going to start here just because he's in Mug. Mug's going to struggle against the RPO. Yep. He even had him, and I think he even had him manned up. It doesn't matter. He just out leveraged. 
Let's go to Trips and run a bubble screen on him too. See if he can offend that. Just kind of seeing, you know, what's their RPO defense? What's their bubble defense? Are they are they prepared for that? He's actually in. Yeah, this is three for odd. This should be free. Yeah, it's free. Just free yardage. If they're gonna run three for odd on you, formations like trips are definitely your friend. It just it just makes just makes their life a lot harder. It's weird to me that he's running so many random defenses. Throw a pick. Of course, I did. <sighs> I don't like the way he's. he's he, I've just. I've never seen someone actually play defense like this. Like we're just actually out here, just like we're actually out here, just doing the most random things. Um, that's where combos like this should hurt him. So let's see if this works. Should be able to block almost every blitz in the game with this. Of course, he's in dollar. Yep. See, when you play defense the way he's playing it, it's like one play, you'll bag, but then like the next play is a touchdown. Like I just, he, he, it's just like the most random things, and they're all like su It's just a super aggressive way to play defense, and it works until it doesn't work. Kind of like that cover six, right? Like it's a good coverage until it's not a good coverage. So there's not really like, and because it's so random, that's what's kind of challenging. I think about the way he plays defense. But again, it's like one play, it's almost a D-line pick six, right? But then the next play, it's a touchdown. <laughs> so, anywho, back to 6-1. All roads lead to 6-1 in dollar being the best uh, defenses in this game. There you go, put a little pressure on him. There's that send five. Starting to pick. Got him now. So you see what 6 1 can do. You don't even have to have the glitchy A gap. Like, it's manned up. Doesn't matter. Fourth and six is pretty much the game here. See what, he, see what we do. We're going to send everybody, I think. That's ours. Yep, 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 yep. Good D. So, yeah, this f that's why I like those, like, press 30-yard soft squats. They just play a lot of stuff. Like, they play corner routes well. They even – but the this year what's kind of unique is they play streaks really well. It's going 3-4 out. Probably going to sell out to stop the bubble screen. Oh, that cut did not win. That's a linebacker, too. Covered him that well. That's crazy. I, th I was like, oh, that's definitely going to win when he cuts inside. It did not work. Let's go. Uh, I just, I don't, uh, <laughs> this is just the weirdest way to play defense I've ever seen. Like, we're just literally in a new formation every single time. And we're not switch sticking, too. So it's like this defense gets Im Im infinitely better if you start switch sticking a bunch. Because then it's just like at that point, everything is so random. Let's try some of these plays. Let's see. Cheat, slot, cross. This could be a red zone beam. I have a feeling this could be an absolute red zone beam. Let's see if it works. Looking for the crosser. Is it run, 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 run? Yeah, it totally works. Oh, that's good to know. Totally works. We just need a little, a little bit more time. The other thing in this is you have this bunch wide. This bunch wide is really good. Just motion this guy in on the hitch. We got a lot of options here. I just high point it. Yeah. Big 
like Will Levis putting the team on his back. All right, that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. <laughs> um, honestly, with the way this is going, you kind of take three. We'll go ahead and go, though. Let's see if we can get this to work, this play. He actually should have been able to pick that. I'm sur it kind of surprised he didn't pick that. I think he gets – I'm trying to remember who gets bought half. I think he does because I think we got the fumble and then we threw a pick first drive. This game is – this game really is. It's, it's – every Madden ever has been about, like, getting turnovers, like getting a pick, and then not – turn. you know, like getting turnovers and then also, like, offensively – Really, the game has been about scoring seven pretty much every drive. This year's game, it's really more about, like, getting points every drive. And then defensively, it's definitely about, like, trying to switch to pick or, you know, it, I just feel like there's a lot of – a lot in this game is really um, about patience. Love my user could move. be awesome. Cover four, force feed a corner route. Just a great read by my opponent. Just a great read. I love that animation whenever the defensive player looks at him and then he just can't cover it. That's always fun. Four verticals, throw right at a quarter. Why would why would it matter? What's crazy, though, I think that was actually a soft squad. That's what I'm saying, guys. Like, look at these soft squads. Look at these press soft squads. They just play stuff, man. They just play so many things. 30-yard soft squad pressed. This kicker is going to be able to put it through, and now it's 21 to 10. And I believe that I get ball. So I feel like offense is a lot about, like, not turning it over, being patient, not uh, – whoops, I don't, I don't want to do that. Um, like, being patient, having good combos. I think it is an interesting discussion what makes a good combo in Madden 25 because – they're a lot different than I've seen in the past. It's not as simple. Offense is not as simple as it has been in previous Maddens. Like, you're, you're really, it's a lot more like full field passing. What it used to be was basically isolating like a side. Now it's a lot different than that. We'll just give the ball to Pacheco, let him power for three. Guys, it's just, it's just an interesting way to play Madden. Because now we're going to be in dollar. Now we're going to be in cub. He should just stay in this 3 4 odd, honestly. All right, we're going to corner out. We're going to block the tight end. And then we're going to in route the running back. Why not? We're looking for this motion. Didn't work. He actually zoned out. I have the circle receiver. Of course, he runs back. <laughs> I can't. See. Oh, my gosh. The way this guy has gotten stops is interesting. Oh, I just said Madden's about not throwing picks, not turning the ball over. Next thing you know, we are out here, and we just do that. We just turn the ball over. Okay. A little stretch. I got it manned up. He doesn't play it. He gets a touchdown. That's just so bad, bro. That's just so bad. <sighs> now it's an 18-21 to 21 game, and somehow, here we go. Uh, there's no way I'm <laughs> – okay. This is the best bubble screen I've ever seen. This is the best bubble screen I have ever seen. Awesome. Lucky charms, brother. Count your lucky charms. And that goes to show why occasionally playing coverage at a three fraud is really effective. Uh, there's just no way to get a read on his defense. Let's just run some basic stuff. He's probably going to blitz me now.
Okay, okay, I'm blind. Uh, I can't see. I can't. I cannot see in this game. This year's game is the first time I officially cannot see in this game. I did not mean to call that play too. And now we're on a third down. <laughs> Oh, man, what a game we play. What a game we play. All right, let's go this. Let's stop uh, getting stopped here. Let's go. That's what I was supposed to throw last time. That's what I was supposed to throw last time. All right, let's just... I want him to start blitzing again. Can't pick that off. Let's just go no huddle and score. Let's see if he does me a favor and runs match again. I do think, like, in this year's game, another thing you're going to see a lot that we haven't fully seen yet is just audibly and around a crap ton. Audibly and around a crap ton, man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's open. It just takes so long to get across the field. Wants to play some zone. Let you play some zone. We'll let you play some zone. All right, this is 100% RPO read bubble time. He's going to go use it himself. And look at that Red Sea just part. Only problem is we have our backup running back in the game. <laughs> All right, I have, a, I have a secret play that not a whole lot of people know about. Let's see if I actually have it in this playbook. This is, like, guaranteed to work one time. He's never going to see this coming. Where's it at? Bunch. Strong. Pin pull toss. You always, 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 always save this for times such as these. Isaiah Pacheco. <laughs> oh, they just never expect that. And they come out of these, like, super compressed defenses and the pin pull toss just gets the job done. And now we're one stop away from winning this game, ladies and gentlemen, in a game where we fought ourselves tooth and nail throughout the game. All right, we'll see if we can get a stop here. If he runs that RPO, <laughs> we will not allow that to be a dot. Tackles, 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 tackles. Okay. Or they're even. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted you to do. Oh, let's play action play. Throw me the pick. Look at him throw right at my – oh, look at Jair. Look at Jair just out there just thinking about things. That's got to be an interception. That's a, almost a catch. I'm telling you, though, these soft squats are insane. I might just go straight quarters. I feel like you have to have the wide side, though. He can't beat this defense. If I just sit in this defense, I don't think I don't think he can score ten points in two minutes and thirty seconds. Hence why we're in this now. All right. That should have not have even been three yards. So basically the run to out of quarters is you just blitz the linebackers, spread the linebackers contain, show blitz, use the weak side safety. And it's gonna be difficult for them to run the ball on you when you do that. He's also, like, snapping the ball about as instantly as you possibly can. He throws another interception, but we can't catch the ball. 
All right. Fourth and seven. Here it is, boys. Can we get it done? 28 to 18. Gun doubles. We're going to pass commit because I'm tired of him being able to throw that. We're actually going to get our blitz in maybe. So we haven't really been able to do that because the way he snaps the ball. He throws right at my guy. We tackle him, and there it is. <sighs> GG's. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys want to check out any of the full stuff, any of the full schemes broken down, they're in our school community. Link is in the description below.